Look at that tree, man. You know, I, com I, I love life so much. And here are four things that could be completely destroying your life. And these four things you could be doing, and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize the impact it has on your life. So stick to the end. Man, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos outside. It's been such a long time. Oh, it feels, feels good, feels good. An addiction to alcohol, drugs, and porn. All of these things, they are not good for you. I, I think we all kind of knew that. That's a really stupid thing I just said. <laughs> drugs are bad. <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> um, the thing is, at first, they are fun. I used to party a lot. I used to drink a lot. I was unfortunately with the wrong crowd, and I also got into some into some illegal activities known as drugs. Unfortunately, thankfully, I managed to crawl out of that pit of addiction. But I was once there, and porn. Yeah, I put porn just as high as these two. It's the same level. At first, it is fun. Yes, but after a while, it starts to really affect you. And if you think about it, over time, in say for example five years, say you're still addicted to drugs, alcohol, porn, all that is going to happen is you're going to get poorer, you're going to get fatter, and you're going to get more depressed. Those three things, those factors, will not change. That will happen. This will deter your life, and unfortunately, I am coming from experience. It is not a good thing, I, I am ashamed of my past. But, I used to be heavily into weed, I used to be heavily drinking all the time, and I used to have a full-on porn addiction for literally years. I can first-hand say that it is not that great. They aren't that great, they're fun at first, but after a while it starts to become a crutch. Quit whilst you can. Committing to the wrong woman. I, I love love, man. I love life, I love love every time I see, you know, fucking couples walking by. Or like that elderly old couple in the coffee shop and they're still together after like 40 years of marriage. I see that and it brings the tear to my eye. That like is beautiful. I love love, but the thing is, I was so easily influenced. I, to basically make me fall in love with you, all you had to fucking do was show an interest in me and I would show an interest back. That is how desperate I was. Yeah, no, it's not a great thing. It's not a good thing to brag about. It is a... Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry, that past was a long time ago. <laughs> but because of this, I dated a lot of women who just simply weren't good for me. For my goals, for my ideals, for what I want to get done in my life. I want to grow up, I want to have a family, I want to create this movement, a channel with a full-on community that can help others, where I can help others who were exactly like me. I want to have a future where I have my own family, where my kids can be proud of their father. That is the dream I want, but then I would date people who were nicotine addicts, drug addicts, um, drinks just to have fun. They can't have fun without alcohol. They were basically smoking all the time. And I dated these people, long-term relationships too, because they showed an interest in me. I didn't realize that how much it affected me, getting into a relationship with the wrong person and then feeling crushed afterwards. Yeah, just thinking about the past, man. Dude, this is, this is what nature does to me. It just makes me think about the past. <laughs> the fuck, a little trip down memory lane. I fell in wrong, I, I fell in love with the wrong woman, but what's worse is I, I committed to the wrong woman. I gave in my all into someone who wasn't willing to give it all back. Granted, I have had plenty of good relationships out there. I've had plenty of amazing relationships, but I've also had plenty of not so great. And that was partly my fault because I was just dating the wrong person for what the kind of life I want. The wrong friends. Unfortunately, I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, I used to be with this sort of wrong crowd. I got to the point where I had to drink to have fun. I had to smoke some of the green to feel anything. It was kind of bad, and that friendship was only there because we all smoked. That was it. We only ever saw each other when we wanted to smoke, not because we actually genuinely wanted to appreciate each other's time. That never happened. This happened in Thailand, where I was basically binging it for two months straight, every single day, 
because the people there were as well. Um, that's, you know, and it's legal there. So, yeah, I wasn't I was in the wrong crowd, the wrong friends. And I love this quote, I've mentioned it before. Show me your closest five friends and I'll show you your future. I genuinely love that quote because it genuinely is true. You are the average of the people you surround yourself with. So who are you surrounding yourself with? I now surround myself with literally just three other guys, that's it. No, 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 two other guys, it's three of us in total. Literally just us, but we, all of us, we are going to the gym. One, two of us are trying to put on as much muscle, one of us is trying to lose as much weight and then put on as much muscle. We are all going to the gym, we are all trying to start our own business, we're all trying to find our purpose, focusing on um, our mental health every day, we're all trying to improve. And I have to say, life is so much more satisfying and fulfilling living with these guys than when I was in Thailand living with the drug heads. Video games. Okay, right, this is a very controversial topic, so I know like 90% of you guys are going to click off. Um, if you don't, hey, welcome, you stayed, congrats, get a thumbs up by me. Um, but this is a very controversial conversation, video games, look. I, I personally do not play video games. I don't touch it. But that's because I used to, every single day, 24-7, after school. It was kind of bad, like, it got to the point that I wouldn't leave my room and I would piss in a bottle, um, so I could keep playing video games, like, throughout the night without my parents hearing, uh, and it's kind of, like, it's kind of messed up. Yeah, that, that kind of is really messed up. And so I was really addicted to video games. But video games aren't bad, I was just addicted. And that is the problem. Other people also fall into this trap where they start playing video games too much to the point where they are living in the virtual world more than the real world. And that becomes a problem because you can't take control of your life that way if you aren't living in the real world. You're constantly living in the virtual because it's a way to escape the harsh reality of the world. And that's how it felt for me. I wanted to escape and I turned to video games because video games are coherently easier. You just have to move a couple of joysticks. I used to be an Xbox player, so you just have to move a couple of joysticks and you could level up that way. Whereas in the real life, going to the gym, leveling up physically is a lot harder. It's also a lot more scary. But it's also a lot more beneficial, a lot more mentally satisfying than video games. Video games got to the point where it became a crutch and I needed it. I had to live with it, otherwise I couldn't live at all. And I knew that this was destroying my life. All of these four things, I knew that they were destroying my life because it got to the point where I didn't have a life and life didn't feel great. So, these are four things that are destroying your life. Whether you are doing them or not, I don't know. Whether this video has helped you or not, I really hope so. I really do hope so. These are things that I talk about from my own experiences to hopefully help others avoid the same mistakes or others who are living the same life I used to live. If you genuinely want to make a change, you want to make a start to better your life, but you don't know where or how, this could be it. This channel, this community, I will do everything that I can to give you all the resources from my experiences, from my mistakes, so you can start. So you can start this journey for yourself. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Oh my god, man. I, it feels so good to be out here. You can't see, right? Maybe you can see the background, but the sun's out. Oh, I, I was literally doing my run for my anime morning, morning, morning training. It's like fucking, I think it's 8 o'clock right now. Um, let me just check. Yeah, so it's 8 o'clock, and just, I just thought, you know what? Let's, let's carry all my camera equipment. Let's go. Let's just carry it and do outdoor video sessions again. I feel like I kind of got a bit too comfortable with life and that is a problem so anyway i, I rambled on it then all right come here you know what time it is give me it. something because